Northern Cali born and raised, real shark about that tank. We go hard to blend the paint and spin them blocks, they said we can't. Talking all that tough shit, don't end up in a casket. Clock up on my hip, be the only thing that's plastic. Hit him in the belly, I guarantee that boy gonna fall. It don't matter who you body, you still a wretch. What's cracking with the hand down YouTube, man? Thank you guys for tapping back in, showing love, showing support, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down under, subscribe if you haven't already. And as you guys can see through the title and the thumbnail, man, this video right here, it took me a couple days to speak on it only because I wanted to be very careful about what I say because it's a, it's a very um, sensitive topic in the U.S., obviously, but I'm going to put it in the way where it's not what people were trying to make it seem. So, <clears throat> as you guys can see through the title and the thumbnail, man, the topic is just the other day, I want to say two, three days ago, allegedly three suspected Sureños, because we don't we don't know if it's true or not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know nothing. <laughs> but allegedly, three Sureños went to a high school campus in San Jose, Overfell High School. Again, allegedly with the banger, and they, they, I guess they asked like some students at the school, like, "Hey, uh, where, where do the Nortanos hang out, or whatever?" In which case, I guess the the kids or the whoever it was, they were like, "Oh, we, you know, what I'm saying we don't know." So, it was reported to the school. Obviously, um, the school obviously ran the three kids out, and it became a big deal to where. Uh, there's this page which I follow called ESSJ Times, I think, or San Jose Times, one of the two. I'm not very sure, but they posted it, right? And I saw the video, and I I instantly knew I was like, I'm gonna get hit up about this. I'm for sure gonna get DMs on Instagram about this. <clears throat> sure enough, um, I checked my Instagram, and I only had two messages, which I was surprised about. I was like, okay, maybe maybe it's not gonna be that big a deal. But as the day went by, I started getting more and more DMs about it. I only responded to one DM out of all the DMs. I mean, I responded to all of them and said, hey, you know, I seen it. I seen it. I'll make a video. But one that I responded to was a disrespectful message by a northerner, in which case he was saying, like, oh, so this is what you do, Duran, like going to schools and whatnot. And I responded, not disrespectfully, honestly, but I let him know that. That's a part of gangbanging. Yes, I understand. I, I seen the comments on the video too, where people were like, "Oh, like they went to a school to look for Norteños, but there's definitely like, uh, well, obviously they were exaggerating, but they were like, it's a hundred Norteño neighborhoods in San Jose. Why didn't they go there? Um, for one, right? This is and this isn't me defending them. That's just it is what it is. It's it's the honest truth because I've done it too, and it's happened to me, which I'll speak on both on this video. <clears throat> in school hours. The best place to find your enemies is going to be in school. And I hate to say it, and this is not to promote violence or to say, like, do this and do that. No, because obviously what these three dudes did was dumb as hell, in my opinion, especially with allegedly having a banger. If they did, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, we don't know if they did or didn't. But if they did, it's too, it's too sensitive to bring those type of things to campus, especially with everything that happens in the country. You know what I'm saying? So... Again, very stupid, but back to the point of which I was trying to make, it's a part of gangbanging, you know what I'm saying? I made a video before, I don't remember which video it is, if you guys remember, let me know, because I don't remember what video it was on, <clears throat> but I mentioned that when I got to Overfelt High School, my first or second, but I'm pretty sure it's my first day, my first day at Overfelt. About 20 Norteños, give or take, obviously, not exactly the number, but give or take, about 20 Norteños went to Overfelt after school to look for us, for the for the Sureños at Overfelt. And I didn't go into details about how it happened and what happened because nothing major ended up happening, obviously, in those times. Um, like the guy in ESSJ Times or San Jose Times said, defund the police, morons, because back then there was actual police on campus and there was always police around schools. So like I said, after school, when I went, when my my uh, my first day or second day, whichever one it was, when they pulled up, twenty northerners, I didn't even know. I was already 
on my way to, because I used to get picked up. My dad used to pick me up from high school, obviously, to take me home. And uh, so I was already on my way walking towards, you know, when my dad would pick me up. When this, uh, some girl, she hit me up and she was like, hey, uh, so-and-so is asking for you. Or, you know, basically like calling for you, saying that there's some dudes looking for you guys. So I said, all right. So I, you know, I went to the J-Wing where the Sureños kicked it at by the gym uh basically right there where the where the picture was taken that's where the sureños would hang out at uh when they p took the picture of the three sureños obviously not the where the picture was taken not where they were at so um i went there and of course everybody was gathered up for the most part everybody and um basically one of the homies told like everybody like hey whoever's with the business we're out and whoever's you know what i'm saying not with the business kick rocks because it's about to get you know it's, it's gonna go down we knew it and uh surprisingly only two out of like all of us was like no you know what i'm saying like they, everybody everybody was with it basically and uh the homie that said that he had he was allegedly holding something not it not it wasn't nothing that was in a pop it was a stick and move type of thing if you catch my drift <clears throat> and he obviously didn't want to get told on so he that's why he said you know what whoever's with it cool let's go if not you know what i'm saying stay here and um uh, so as we're you know what I'm saying on the way to where to the front of the school cuz apparently they were at the front of the school and on the side of the school so um we walked to the front of the school but there was already a bunch of um like cop cars and obviously the they weren't they're not called principals at Overfell I don't know how it is now but they were like I think they were called um what the hell were they called I don't remember but it wasn't principals it was basically like the advisors or or um, counselors, whatever they were, they were already out there wait, waiting for us. And, be, and again, nothing ended up happening. There was too many cops. N literally nothing happened. Only thing that happened was one of my homies that was there from SPV, he ended up getting violated. I think he had to do like three months in juvenile hall when literally nothing happened. Like nothing happened. Only reason he got violated is because he was kicking it with the homies, which was one of his things that he wasn't supposed to do. <clears throat> so, um, again... It happens. People go to campuses looking for their enemies because it's the easiest way to find your enemies. Again, um, that happened to, to me. Now let me tell you guys about when I did it to, or when we did it to North Daniels at Mount Pleasant High School. So this happened way later in the year. Same year, but it happened way later, maybe like two, three months after. And it had nothing to do with gangbanging, actually. It was one of the homies was dating a girl. She got kicked out of that school of uh overfelt and had to go to mount pleasant so um the homie went and followed basically that girl was gonna fight that day his girl was gonna fight that day at mount pleasant and he was afraid that she was gonna get jumped by the northerners so he basically asked like the homies like hey whoever's down like you guys want to slide through to mount pleasant <clears throat> so it was uh it was me it was one of the homies from spv a homie from virginia uh one homie from vsm and him and I want to say it was another car behind us, but I don't, I can't recall to be completely honest with you, but I'm pretty sure it was two cars, but I was in that car with those homies. When we got to Mount Pleasant, we didn't have the intentions of getting off on, on the Northerners because we didn't even think there was going to be any. It was already like, I don't know, like an hour after school or whatever. But when we pulled up, we were like, well, whatever, we're already here. Let's look for some. The girls didn't end up fighting, but we were already there. So we said, all right, whatever. We end up finding one dude in a black and red, uh, well, not a black and red. It was the Niner jersey, but the black and red one. Not the traditional red and white or red and gold, whatever it is. We find one dude, but he takes off, and we start chasing him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Again, nothing happens. Dude had wheels. That fool was gone. And uh, I know the homies, two of the homies that were there that day, if you guys are there. I mean, if you guys see this video, obviously, leave a comment below. You know what I'm saying? Don't let these fools call me a liar, bro. Cause <laughs> but again, nothing happened. And a lot of times when that happens, when when somebody from one school goes to another, usually nothing happens. In this case, I'm very glad nothing happened because, for one, from going from one school to another, I feel like it's probably a bigger case than it would be if it was the same school. And if um there there actually was, you know, what I'm saying what was alleged to be on the person of whoever was holding whatever. It would not go good for you because it's a very sensitive time 
for anything to do with that because of math. Uh, well, I was going to say the word, but because of things that happen on school campuses with, you know, what I'm saying bangers, I would not recommend it. So if for whatever reason those homies come across this video, um, I just want to say, bro, be smart. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll say it like this. That was a crash dummy move right there. I get it. Some some dudes, when you're young, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm all in. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about the consequences. I'm going to do what I have to do for, you know what I'm saying? I, I get it. But do not be a crash dummy and do something that dumb either. You know what I'm saying? It, well, I, I get it. It's gang banging. But also don't just, you know what I'm saying? Use your head, man, because it was not a bright move. And for the people that wanted to know my uh, my thoughts on this, on this, my point of view, uh, I think it was a crash dummy move. I don't think it was smart. Um, if, if you know what I'm saying, maybe the, the students that saw them put a little 10 on the 2 and, and said they had that when they didn't and they just went to get off, hey, you know what, that happens and it is what it is. But, again, that's really all I have to say on the topic. It's part of gangbanging, sadly, but it is what it is, man. And uh, so, yeah, that's all I really got to say on the topic. Thank you guys for tapping in. Um, I will be dropping more content. This month, especially, because I'm not going to lie to you guys. You guys are going to notice that YouTubers are going to be posting a lot this month because YouTube pushes channels more in December. For whatever reason, I don't know. Um, apparently, the, your views should be higher if you are more consistent. Um, they do pay you a little bit more. Um, and I guess you get your channel just get, it gets recommended more, which means more views, which means more money, which means everybody's happy. The content is being pushed. And the viewers have content to watch. So with that being said, man, thank you guys for tapping in. Show some love. Show some support. Like always, I appreciate all of you. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down under. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like I always say, the goal is to make it out the hood and not stay in it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.